Hello guys and welcome to another cybersecurity tutorial. So in this uh, third part of the Scapey series, the Scapey scanner series, we're actually going to test uh, this code and make sure that it works. Like I hinted in uh, the previous video, there might be a few glitches or uh, errors that we get when running this. And that's because we, uh, we took a very simple and basic approach. Uh, and didn't make too much sanitization um, uh, in this case. So you're gonna see about that in a minute. As always, please make sure you test or you do cybersecurity assessments on targets that you have been given specific permission to test. So please make sure to use this type of information for legal purposes only. All right, uh, so... Uh, First, we're gonna so we're gonna test this against a local server and also uh, on a remote host, and we're simply gonna uh, see. Uh, we'll, we'll simply ask Google if it has uh, port 80 open. But first, we're gonna test it locally. So for that, uh, I've set up a um, I've set up a server. So I'm actually gonna set up a server on Kali Linux on port 22. Uh, and I'm actually going to uh, uh, test from here, from, uh, from Windows. So first, if you want to replicate this, make sure that, uh, that your Kali Linux is at least on a bridged connection so that your Windows machine can see it. So right now, if we nmap minus SV localhost, we shouldn't have any ports opened. Okay. So let's start the SSH server, service SSH start, all right? And now we should have uh, SSH running on port 22, open port there, all right? Uh, let's, now let's look at the IP address. So if uh, config, we're gonna look at the IP address of the Kali Linux, so it's 192.168.0.101. Okay, so we keep that in mind. And now over here, I'm going to use Python 3.5, Scapey Scanner. Uh, Scapey Scanner is the first argument, so it's the name of the file. Then uh, we need to specify the server we want to test, 0101, and the ports, the start and the end port. And let's just uh, test if this, uh, if start port equals end port works. So I'm just going to specify 22 as start and 22 as end. In this case, it should go from 22 to 23, so it'll increment the end port plus one. All right, let's run this. Enter. Okay, so we can see that it sees the port open. But now, let me show you what I've been telling you about earlier. So if we specify 20 to 23, it should throw us an error. It doesn't. Let's specify 1820 since there isn't anything running over there. Okay, so it doesn't say there's anything wrong with it. Um, in this case, so if we test on a target, let's say 192.102, and there, uh, it doesn't receive any response from the target, it should throw us an error. Seems like it's better than I expected. Just tied a bit better. Okay, so this is what I was telling you about. So we have an attribute error. Non-type has attribute has no attribute, has layer. Non-type, it is because um, our target may not be running, which is why it's gonna be a non-type, so we don't actually have a real, uh, real uh, host to actually assess, real remote host to actually assess, real server to assess. So if it doesn't find anything, that's actu that actually means that it's a non-type. 
and that non-type uh, we asked it uh, has layer over here TCP and response get layer flags equals uh, synac I guess um, this is a non-type and doesn't have any attribute error and it doesn't have uh, any attribute has layer so it actually throws us this attribute error now we could like uh, sanitize this and make the code more efficient by actually um, using a try catch over here so for x in range blah 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 so try for x in range blah 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 except attribute error as attribute error or as e depending on the uh, the, the python um, version that you're using and specify uh, what should throw us if it gets this error so in that case this and other errors as well because it might get other errors so in that case we'd have the 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 uh the program like finish um, appropriately not like terminate uh beforehand so um yeah that that's one thing we we actually coded this like simplistically and did it fast uh and i would say it isn't even efficient because you can use other higher level libraries uh, and uh, do a quick port scanner uh like much faster and in a fewer in uh, fewer lines of code and i might show you that in a previous video okay so what happens if we scan a remote host let's say google.com and it should have port 80 open for web requests um, and it should also give us port 80 is open scan is complete okay and that's exactly what it does all right guys so like i said this isn't the most efficient way because it doesn't catch for errors or anything and in uh, future videos uh, we might actually look into alternative ways of doing this in a better and more efficient way so if you guys enjoyed this video please hit that like button and subscribe and also please let me know in the comment sections below uh, what type of cybersecurity videos or tutorials or even uh, penetration testing walkthroughs you would want uh, to see uh, more coming from from my channel with that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.